everyone, it's Kim, and I just wanted to do a brief demonstration on how to identify if you have lapis lazuli or sodalite. I was at a gem show this weekend, and I bought these gorgeous tumbled mystery stones. So I want to see um, what they are. Are they sodalite or are they lapis lazuli? Now, lapis lazuli is, is a blue stone, right? And it often has specks of pyrite in it, and that is a clear indication that it's lapis over um, sodalite. I'm trying to pick that up. I don't know if that's coming in. It's very sunny in here. Um, this piece has it too. If you can see some of the shimmery pyrite in there. That's not really showing up. But that's a clear indication when you see that pyrite. All right, so and here's a, a rough piece of sodalite. No pyrite in there whatsoever. And some tumbled sodalite. Sodalite will often have more white in it. And the more the more blue in it, the higher the quality. All right, so these have very little white, lots and lots of blue, very rich, rich blue, and also specks of brown. So um, I was questioning whether I actually bought lapis lazuli or sodalite. Now, my receipt says, interestingly enough, I thought it would help, but it didn't. It, it said sodalite, and then it was crossed out, and then lapis lazuli written next to it. So now I'm sitting here going, what did I just buy? You know, I wanted lapis lazuli. Um, but I wasn't sure now what exactly that I had bought. So I was going to contact the vendor and be like, what the heck did you just sell me? But before I do that, I'm going to do this little streak test because lapis lazuli on these porcelain plates, right? And there's a dark one and a light one. So if a stone is streaked on, on a plate and it's supposed to have a lighter color, like a white or a yellow, you would use the darker plate so it shows up. If you're streaking and it's going to have a darker color like a brown or, or, or red or something like that, you're going to want to use the, the lighter, the white color streak plate so it shows up. So now lapis azuli is going to streak blue. I know I have lapis here, so we're going to go ahead on the white plate and I'm going to get a blue. So I have a nice blue streak. It's kind of showing up right here, but it is blue. All right, so I know that I have lapis here. Clean that off. Now let's take what I know to be sodalite. And now sodalite is going to streak white. All right, so we go ahead and we do that. And I got a white streak. So those I know. So now to figure out what the mystery stone is. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so I'm going to take my mystery stone. And I want it to be lapis, so I'm going to go ahead and streak it on the white plate because I really wanted to streak blue, but it is not. It's not nothing is showing up. So odds are, guess what? I bought myself some extra soda light, <laughs> and I wanted lapis. Lesson here: never leave home without your streak plates. So. I really advise everybody to get some kind of streak plates, um, get a jeweler's loop, get some um, hydrochloric acid so you can test to see if you have calcite. So, you know, look online and see if you could find any of these things. These are really good to have some kind of mineral ID kit with you when you are crystal shopping so that you don't come home with a pile of soda light thinking that it is lapis azuli, all right? So thanks for watching and as always, have a blessed day.